Hey, thanks for buying a power pot. I'm here to show you what's what and how you can most effectively use your new generator. Firstly, never run the sucker dry. The power pot depends on the water as a heat sink, so always add your water first. Now that you've got water in there, turn on your stove to a lower medium setting for the best power output, and in a matter of seconds you'll be producing power. Remember that the longer it takes to boil, the more charge you'll get into your device, so don't race to a boil. Again, use a low to medium flame and you'll get the most power and you'll conserve your fuel. You want to center the flame on the bottom of the pot. The center square here is where the thermoelectric technology is located, so that's where you want your flame to hit. So the power pot was made with backpacking in mind, so the best use case for it is a small camp stove like this one. You can use it over an open flame, but we don't recommend you actually throw it in the middle of your fire. We recommend you scoop some coals to the side, a nice big stack, set your pot on top of that, and you can keep your gadgets charging that way as well. Another use case would be if there's a power outage in your home and you have a natural gas stove. You can set your power pot on that, just remember low setting and also concentrate the flame on the bottom center of the pot. We don't recommend you put your power pot over an electric range. Firstly, if you have electricity, you don't need to use the power pot. And secondly, electric ranges get really hot really fast and that heat can damage your power pot. Last and arguably the most important step is cool down. So when you're done cooking and your water is ready to be used, don't forget to leave some water in the pot to cool down. If you pour all the water out immediately, you increase the risk of overheating and damaging your generator. Be sure to leave a couple inches of water in the pot after you pour. That'll give the technology enough time to properly cool down without breaking. So it might seem like a lot to remember, but it's pretty simple. Just remember, water first, low to medium flame that's centered in the bottom of the pot, and then properly cool down your pot with just leaving a little excess water in the bottom till it properly cools. If you can remember these three things, you are golden and you'll have gadgets charging all day long or night whenever doesn't matter